Jayco 267 slide out bunkhouse travel trailer here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The J Flight Series is the number one selling travel trailer since 2005 and counting, and by a huge margin. Question is why? Why are so many people attracted to J Flights? Because there's a lot of campers out there, and believe it or not, they're all really cool in different ways. Um, you know, some of them are just better in price because they cut throat on structure. Some are really cool because they have really neat features, but that can affect your price tag. What I like about this is that first it's a Jayco, so you're getting double the warranty of anybody else really in this product segment. And secondly, this is just a bare bones, no apologies, just camper. It's not loaded with fireplaces and skylights and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's just a camper. If you just want to take your family out camping a couple times a year, this is the one right here. And it's got a big slide to give you room on a rainy day. And in fact, it's kind of drizzly and raining today, so I may have to dart inside real quick. Big honking diamond plate on this. I love the extended diamond plate. And they actually wrap it down around the frame, the uh, A-frame beams. While we're down here, it's kind of cool to mention this A-frame actually passes clear through and ties into the I-beams of the uh, the frame itself. Um, long story short, that means enhanced stability. The other really cool part about that is uh, this camper has a taller interior, but it is not a taller camper. And that might not make sense until you realize that because the way they use that A-frame, they're not raising the roof, they're lowering the floor three inches. Three inches may not sound like a lot. The difference between a 78 inch roof and an 81 inch roof but long story short what it really makes a difference in is more cabinet space taller bunks taller shower now that taller shower is something that as a, a 6'3 person i really resonate with that's why i camp in a j flight i have the no slide version of this basically that's what i go camping in all the time so i don't just push this stuff i actually you know enjoy the lifestyle myself um the uh spare tire standard issue thing on j flights actually in a lot of what I call family class, um, you know, campers like this. Spare tires are an option. Sometimes stabilizer jacks are an option. Those are things you have to have. They are standards on a J flight. Power awning on here, that's another nicety that you don't typically find at this price point. And uh, another thing is this is only 50, between 5,700 and 5,800 pounds, depending on how you equip it. This is very lightweight for its size and towable. And it's not necessarily designed to be lightweight, but it's kind of interesting when you use better materials you can actually reduce weight of an rv for instance they don't use um you know like a osb and like their structure and construction and whatnot 100 percent led lights by the way that's another thing you don't usually find at this price point you usually find incandescents which are not as bright eat your battery alive and you have to replace constantly but uh back to the weight you know they use plywood like this is a tongue groove 5 8 inch um plywood decking uh beneath the bed it's plywood plywood is a superior material compared to a 4x8 sheet of OSB. When it's tongue groove, it's stronger. It's also lighter because it's not packed with glue. So when you use better materials, you actually can save weight. So you do get what you pay for. Um, this interior, oh shoot, what is the name of this interior? I forgot, that's the name of this interior. It's called I Forgot. <laughs> but long story short, um, if you uh, are just watching this on YouTube and click over to our website, um, we publish the uh, uh, like every single color scheme that we have in stock. Um, so if uh, the, the, you don't like the look of this this print right here, this uh, this nice neutral tone print, then still double check our website. We might have the same model in stock with just a different decor. I don't tend to reshoot footage. Where you find your windows, they're bigger in your Jayco's and they open for ventilation. Um, I mentioned a little bit taller while we're looking up here. Uh, that also means a, uh, uh, or pardon me, that also means a, a taller slide out. That's the the other the fourth part of the uh, 81 inch height advantage there. Now this is central air that that'll help. This is awesome. Spring, summer, fall camper. This is it. You know, go if you're the type that likes to get there and go outside and you don't spend time in your camper with your family watching a flat screen TV. This is your trailer. Absolutely. Um, has a, a, a good bathroom arrangement here with a, uh, a sort of like a split bathroom. And when this first kind of started uh, debuting like this, a lot of people at first weren't real sure about it because they people are used to having the sink in the bathroom. Well, in a bunkhouse camper like this where you can sleep six or eight people and you have a limited bathroom space, it's nice to be able to have one kid in here getting ready for dinner or bath time or whatever, while another kid can also get ready for dinner and brush their teeth and other things like that. So you can you can move the kids through a lot more quickly here. We're looking at a foot flush stool, not a centrifugal flush. What that means in English is you don't have to have your face near your business. Um, in this price point, you do not typically find shower wall panels around. 
So when you're taking a shower, the water that sprays off your body will naturally mist against this wall paneling. And if you don't take your towel every single time and, and dry it off, you're gonna, going to start seeing your wallpaper uh, bunch up and curl like a stamp. The way you, you take a stamp off of a, an envelope of steam, same thing. Um, and even if you do that a lot, there's still moisture on it. It's still going to happen eventually. Uh, we also have both a skylight and a power vent fan. Cheaper brands will put this vent fan over the shower and it'll give you some light, but not like that. The bunks in Jayco, they don't scrimp on the uh, construction over here. First of all, they're using 50% thicker Denver mattress bunks. These are just way higher quality. They're bigger, thicker, better. They're also using the new um, teddy bear uh, covering on it, which is <laughs> just fun to play with. And it is, it is warmer. 600 pound upper uh, bunk capacity, by the way. Uh, meaning overbuilt uh, for bigger folks like me, it'll still be sufficient. They don't bother uh, weight rating the lower bunk because there's so much construction under it, you're not going to make it fail. Uh, this is a 81 inch floor to ceiling convertible closet right here. This can be anything you want. Uh, you have a uh, adjustable shelving in here. So these two shelves can wiggle and make uh, extra wardrobe space, linen space, towels, uh, mac and cheese, anything you want. You can put all that good stuff in here. It does pretty much anything and everything you need it to do. Um, let's see, talk about the central layer. I don't like rehearse this stuff, by the way, so if I mutter to myself a little bit, I apologize. I just kind of shoot them as I see them. Um, the drawers we have here are full extension. They're full plywood box construction, especially the front side here. Some manufacturers will try to, to chintz and not include a front uh, face plate here. Uh, they'll just try to screw this piece of uh, face into that board, and it just falls apart. It just does not work very well. They also include a big space down here, ideal for a little trash can. Um, you know, things like the taller sink right there, that's so you can actually clean bigger dishes and whatnot. That's the kind of stuff that not every brand has, especially at this price point. This is in the most aggressive um, price segment of the entire RV industry right here, and it is the number one seller. So they've got just the ideal mix of stuff. It's it's all thriller, no filler. Everything that you really, really need, they got here. Like this doesn't have a big flat screen TV and, and uh, Blu-ray player or something like that. It's just got a basic stereo, but they leave you a little spot. If you want to add some electronics, you can. They also, But they have the smart stuff like a shoe garage here. Because in a bunkhouse, you're going to have a big pile of shoes by the door. Unless you have a shoe garage. Um, both sides of the bed do have power outlets, so your CPAP machines and phones and smart devices all have a home right there. And even your front uh, bed here is a, uh, a Denver mattress. It's not a Denver pillow top like you'd have on the J-Flight proper versus the J-Flight SLX where we find ourselves currently. But again, you get what you pay for. If uh, you're just looking to go out and do some weekend trips and whatnot, guys, this is the one. It has double the warranty, it has extra height, it has superior construction, and has a superior service record. That's why we feature it, and those things are why they are the number one sellers out there for many consecutive years, and by a wide margin. It's not close. It's a big difference. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.